Safety comes fundamentally, ultimately, in the hands of our Gaza Khyber. And so between our politicians and Gaza Khyber, they are the ones who actually have to be outraged outrage, not just casually say, you know, I'm so sorry this happened, so sorry that happened, and, and hide in some ways from these incidences. They should be at the front and express the pain and frustration of the community and say this is not acceptable. Safety has to be number one. So we have to take the leadership. But your point about the Netherlands, look, the Netherlands has the resources and the capacity. The least we should do is partner with the Netherlands to make improvements on Bonnet. How can we be uh, open by Lechon of uh, one of the world's leading economies, one of the world's leading transport and logistics places where children can go to ballet and hockey and, and go off with their parents saying that they're not worried about when they come home. Once I was there and I actually, a kid, child came to visit my child on his bicycle in the evening and I said, let me bike back with you for safety. And his mother said to me, oh, you don't have to worry about it. He'll be fine. And he was maybe eight years old. This is what's happening in our kingdom of the Netherlands. Why not on Bonaire? Are we not equal? Um, did you feel that our government did, uh, took this seriously enough? I know that our community took it seriously enough. There were people yesterday when we said farewell, to Paul, they were laughing, crying, and all out on the streets and celebrating the life of this amazing human being. I did not see our officials there. And certainly, I did not see the Kazakh Heber there, who could have used this opportunity to come over and basically convey the pain that the community feels at the loss of such a great person. It would have brought great comfort to his family in the Netherlands to know that not only our people, but our leadership also feels the pain. So no, I think that this has not been taken as seriously as, unfortunately, the other deaths have not been taken as seriously. They, we have basically turned this into something that, oh, you know what, these things happen. No, they don't happen. They happen because we fail. That's why they happen. And that failure should not be acceptable anymore. Enough is enough. Um, you have a message for the people who are looking at you right now? Don't accept this as a given. This is not uh, something we cannot fix. Our leadership should be able to fix it. Think about that. It's our leaders here in Kralendijk and in The Hague. They should fix this. Don't let them get away with it. Hold them accountable.